Hello, my crafty friends. It's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba. Today we are playing with Very Versailles. I haven't inked it up and I just pulled a few of the stamp sets off of the red rubber or out of the uh, base, I should say. Um, for this one, I have an idea in my head. We'll see where it goes. I'm going to be using Garden Green, Grey Granite, and Rich Razzleberry for our inks. I've got my stamp block here, and I'm going to be using two pieces of the same sheet of designer series paper. Um, this is from the In Good Taste paper pack. Four and a quarter by five and a half, and four inches by five and a quarter. Um, I've also got some brushed metallic adhesive backed dots, stamp and seal, and my take your pick tool. So we're going to get started. Um, I was going to do all one color, but as I was looking at the elements that I wanted to use, I was kind of starting to think that I needed to bring in some different colors and textures. So we're going to start with our gray granite ink here. And we're going to be using the letter or the text. Um, I haven't stuck my sticker on yet. Do I want to stick my sticker on? You know what? Yes, I do, because then that way I'll kind of have a, an idea of which way is up. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. So one of the sides has like a little divider or a cut up. Sliced is the word I'm looking for. Um, piece of the backing. So what I'm going to do is line this up onto, whoop, try that again. You don't want to put it down until you're fairly certain you're accurately placed. So I've got it exactly lined up um, on the paper and then we're just going to peel it up off of the backing. And I like to, the first time I adhere it to my block, I like to stick it on my hand just to make sure that um, it's not going to stay super stuck to my block. Okay, and then I'm just going to ink it up. And put our text. Do a little bit here. I'm stamping slightly off. And then I'm going to do another bit. Actually, we're going to do this. Stamp it off once. And then stamp it again so it's a little bit lighter so I think that'll be it for the gray and then I'm just going to set a pad over there um, and then we're going to do the same thing with our leaves I find this to be a really quick way of applying the stickers helps if you take the backer off first Yeah, I did take the back off that one. Okay, good. Now, if you make an error in applying, um, you can very gently, very gently tease it off. Um, but pretty much once it's stuck, it's stuck. And the reason, or if you're going to, Try to reposition your sticker. You want to make super, super sure that you take the sticker, not the foam off the rubber. I do have a video that I'll be posting shortly, um, both over here on YouTube and on my Facebook page, of how you can take the sticker off if you make a misposition error. I'll probably put that one up uh, maybe on the weekend. All right. So now we're going to add our leaves. I love how quick and easy this set makes everything. All right. And again, slightly off. And then again, stamp it off. And then we're going to do a second stamp here, just a little bit lighter. I really like that look of 
light and dark. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Now, what was the other element? Oh, I had this little filigree piece that I had pulled out. There's a right and wrong with this one. It's the same pattern both sides. And then we'll bring in Rich Razzleberry. Rich Razzleberry is not really a color that I've been paying much attention to, but lately I've really started to use it quite a bit more. And I'm just going to do one on this side. And then we're going to put one down here. I think that's good. Um, and then we're also going to do our sentiment with Rich Razzleberry. And I think I'm going to be doing Have a Beautiful Day. That seems like a good one. guy off to the side we're gonna stick him here and then we're just gonna stick our sticker on and then our card is just about done Do this one in rich razzleberry as well. All right, so there's our card done. We're just going to add some little bit of bowling y bits. Now, for this one, I'm going to use this um, sort of I'm not even sure what color this is. Um, so I'm just going to do, I do have a little bit of an ink oops here. So I'm just going to use my bling to cover that up. And I guess that's the end of the smaller ones. I'll stick this one down here. So there's our front done. Now we're just going to grab the, put my take your pick tool away. We're going to grab our piece that we're using for our base and then just two strips of adhesive down the side super quick super easy and I'm just going to do it slightly offset and then do I have a card base around no I do not anyway I'm going to get this stuck to a base and get it sent off to somebody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you do try this technique um, or even use the stamp set, please feel free to stop over on my Facebook page and show. Um, I also have a VIP group, which is linked over there. So don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you're notified every single time a brand new video comes up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.